what's going on guys welcome back to the channel yeah <laughs> radio announce yeah <laughs> all right guys let's jump back into it anyways i appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man welcome back to the channels for some more full metal alchemist brotherhood i'm trying to churn out some episodes man because i'm not gonna lie to you guys your boy is tired <laughs> but i'm still trying to get these episodes ready for you guys in the upcoming week man hopefully it can get at least i try to to do the the rest the six last night and i i couldn't do it <laughs> i couldn't do it man i did two and i got so sleepy i just had to i just had to disconnect so i'm gonna try to do four tonight to complete the 10 that's supposed to go out but i might not get to it but if anything i'll just do it sometime the week and you'll still have it for friday Okay, so kind of concentrating on these series right now, which is Full Metal Alchemist and JoJo's, um, you know, because I want you guys to have something to watch in the week, and then I'll concentrate on getting early access done. So once I have a lot of stuff done for early access, that way, once I get that done, and when that is ready to air, I can just publish them to the channel okay so i appreciate you guys man for being patient as always man we're gonna jump into the story not gonna waste any more time so just one more thing just remember guys that memberships are available on the channel for early access and also you'll be able to suggest stuff movies and stuff like that on the uh, the highest tier that we have on the channel so you'll be able to do that also or you could just support at the lowest level um where you will get a shout out in my videos okay so i appreciate you guys let's jump into the episode and i will see you guys for the review what's going on guys this is the review those episodes are fire we're getting ready for the day of reckoning and it's looking to be somewhat of a awesomeness <laughs> you know the espionage the okie dokes you know what i'm saying trying to outsmart the fuhrer as i said i don't think the fuhrer is dead there's no way that bomb killed him he is an homunculus you know what i'm saying he is human too so he's not like fully homunculus like the rest but he's still a homunculus and i think gonna make him stronger i don't think that killed him that would have been that would be kind of weird story wise to kill off fewer bradley like that one of the strongest characters in the story so far to just kill him off with a bomb like it, it doesn't make sense you get what i'm saying so that's why i don't think he's dead like Sometimes you really do when you're watching a show, you got to use common sense and don't be surprised by everything you see because, you know what I'm saying? Because some things just explain themselves. You know what I mean? So, for me, I like the idea, right? I like the idea of them getting ready for this war and half the people that are fighting these that this war doesn't even know what the hell is going on. They're, probably going to end up in this like the troops that they're gathering they probably don't even know why the hell they're gathering to, to central but i think they're in for a rude awakening because now that father has stepped out of the shadows to calm down the um the the, the huddle or whatever you want to call it i don't like the fact that he has his hands on general armstrong but yeah, I'm saying, but we'll see. Cause I think he probably noticed that she's the only one that's not panicking about this. So maybe he'll put her in charge, you know, temporarily until they figure out what's happening with, with Bradley or maybe father will just take over, you know, cause he's a beast. You know what I'm saying? He is, you know what I'm saying? We still don't know the full capabilities of his powers. And I think maybe Owen Heim is the only one that might be able to defeat him or to take him down because i don't think i don't think he's an immortal i think he's just i think there's something that's able to destroy him just like how um dr marco was able to destroy envy well not really destroy but you know bring him down to size <laughs> let's just put it like that bring him down to size but in any case um 
I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. The story is progressing nicely. Nice little conversation that Ed, Ed almost got to see the titties. You know what I'm saying? Like he almost got to see the titties if it was a little more quiet. You know what I'm saying? I think he would have got to see the titties. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, we all know that Winry loves Ed. I think he feels the same way about her because both of them, you know, both Al and Ed loved Winry from, you know, from they were younger. Um, and she just coming into the realization that she's actually falling for Edward. So it's pretty cute between the two of them. Um, really cute, you know, couple, whatever, with their dynamic. Um, I like it. Uh, man, did General Armstrong put a whooping on Major Armstrong? Jeez, man, that was a whooping, whooping. And she's not an alchemist. She's not an alchemist. At least I don't see any signs of her. She is strong as hell. Bruh, bruh. You know, I didn't think, I, I wasn't thinking that, you know what I'm saying, she would have manhandled him like that i wasn't thinking that you know i was thinking maybe she's gonna win but you know but not like so one-sided jeez that man was crying for his mama <laughs> she's a beast i love her you know what i'm saying that's my baby right there i don't want nothing to happen to her love her attitude in the show this is how you build a strong female character in anything. People could take a lesson from that. It doesn't feel forced. It just feels like a character that you introduce and they're they're not saying they're better than anybody. They you just exude that kind of confidence, which the things that comes out of her mouth does not surprise me from the first time we were introduced to her character. She's a general for a reason. If you're a general and, and, and you're a woman, there's a certain kind of way that you have to carry yourself. And it's not because, oh, you might be leading men or male. You know what I'm saying? It's not because you would be leading males or whatever the situation is. But there's a certain confidence that comes with being the general of an army, of a, of a post or whatever the situation is. To gain that rank in any military is prestigious you get what i'm saying so um you gotta go through some shit you know what i'm saying to be a general you know so um so shout out to her man for really exuding that and showing what it should be you know what i'm saying male or female as a general you know what i'm saying you might want to say oh she acts too manly or whatever this i don't see it like that i see that as what the rank is supposed to be that is how i that is what i expect from somebody at a general rank right that is what i expect somebody who just exudes confidence they're not taking shit from no body no matter what because i know what i had to do to get here you get what i'm saying so i'm glad that they're doing that they're doing a very good job so i do appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man enjoying this story to the fullest i'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next of course and i will catch you guys next time just remember to like the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys Push.